Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dibbon here, Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. And today we have another great 2024, still living in the future in the 23 with the 24s on the ground. This is a new one from Keystone. It's a Cougar, the 260 MLE. A couple great things about this one. The inside, you're gonna be thrown away by, thrown back, I should say, by all the counter space that you have in there, the prep space. So like always, we're gonna go around the outside first and then we'll get you inside. So starting right up front, Throwing you the nice fiberglass front cap, wrap around, seal all the seals in the corner, have the seal on the side, so a lot of extra protection right up front here. You got your road armor uh, pin box, and then you got the nice thick, one inch thick rubber here to help for chucking and bouncing going down the road, 18,000 pound capacity. While we're on the weight, this camper's coming in right about 9,700 pounds, um, so really great three quarter ton tow boat kind of in that length still if you want to throw a small trailer or a boat behind it you can do that it's really going to be nice up front of this bay a lot of things going on up here you got your spare tire up here you got your tire link prep your solar controller uh, battery disconnects for the solar panel and the main battery you're going to be in here we are going to include a uh, 127 deep cycle marine grade battery within this box here for you um, also, you got a nice leash latch up here. So if you got your best furry friend with you, hook them up here. It's going to be really nice. Also, this front door, um, they've kind of moved away from the latches on the roof, which is nice, and gave you these strut bars. So we'll see how that goes over. But I like that because, you know, sometimes you're always just ready to close it, forget that latch. You got to get your hand in here to get it unhooked. That's kind of nice. I kind of really like that. All your docking lights and everything are going to be right up front. So you do have uh, the hitch vision for when you're backing up. You're going to have that here for you. A nice light under that. And then on the cap, you're going to have those really nice amber yellow lights up there as well. This has got the four point electric auto level on it. So all your buttons are going to be in, um, in this storage bay here. So look at the size of the storage bay. I mean, it's just huge. You got this really nice kind of rubber marine grade kind of flooring to it. So cleaning stuff out, don't have to worry about when you slide your stuff in, if it's getting caught on carpet or anything like that. It's not gonna rot, mold, get dirty or anything if it, get, if it does get wet. So that's gonna be really nice. You got a little push puck light in here. On um, this side for your auto level and, and if you had an inverter, it is all prepped and ready to go to put an inverter in here. And then also, you can kind of notice the new LED strip that goes across. It's really going to light this whole unit up in this storage bay. 30-pound uh, LP tanks, one on either side. Again, we are filling those here at Bullion RV, included in every deal, whether it's a new fifth wheel, whether it is a used camper, travel trailer, always filling those up for you here. Right inside the water station, really easy. You got hot and cold water. Uh, to winterize it, city water connection. You got a black tank flush in here. Your poles are all inside here, so keeping those out from under here so no grime or road debris or anything kicking up, bending a pole for you, so you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Keeping it all in here, keeping it smooth. This is where you're gonna wanna feed your water lines through. So just kinda take that off, feed everything up through here, plug it all in, you'll be able to close this door, make it look really nice and clean. And if anything were to happen, you do have this nice wall here. So if any water was coming out, it would just come out and drain right through this. And if you know if you got water coming down here, it's something to check into, so it's not gonna be piling into your storage bay. Endless hot water on this unit, so no longer the six gallon or even 10 gallon. Endless hot water. As long as you're not taking scorching hot showers, this is going to give you hot water forever. So no matter if you're the first person or the third person, fourth person taking the shower, you're going to be set. Wrap around. You got the one slide that's up in the bedroom. One slide down here in the main living. Fresh water connection is going to be back here too. So we want to do some potable water and hook it up with your fresh tank right back here is where you're going to want to fill that up. In this bigger slide box, notice that you do are on the rack and pinion, which is going to be really nice. Also right down under in the back here, another uh, tank pole. 
And then this is going to be where you want to store your sewer hose right in here so you don't have to put it in any Rubbermaid totes and throw that in the storage bin, just tucking it back here away from everything. It's going to be really great for you. Ladder to the fully walkable roof, on board, ready to go. One less thing that you have to tote around. It's already on your camper, all set. Power hookups are right in the back here. I like that, that it's away from all the water, away from everything else. In the back of the unit, away from where you're all moving around, so you don't gotta worry about tripping over that. So you can, so I was saying that you could tow a boat. I lied, you can't. You can just hook up a hitch to here, a little rack back here, 300 pound capacity. So sorry about the getting you excited earlier. This is just for toting stuff. Maybe you got a small little scooter. That's better than a boat. Prep for a backup camera up top. And then you got this nice window across the back to give you views out the back of the camper as well. Also right on the back, you're gonna get yourself a nice flat top burner. Breakfasts are great on these things. Pancakes, hash browns, eggs, bacon, whatever you want. These things are great. Burgers, stir fry. I mean, options are endless with the flat top. If you haven't had one, you'll never cook on anything else. Really like these. Nice fridge outside. So again, nothing goes better than a nice cold beverage with grilling or out in the sun. Nice cool little beverage fridge out here. And then when you pull this all the way out, it does give you a you know, a little spot down here to kind of store a bunch of your goods that you're cooking with. You can kind of stick them right on here when you pull this grill out. So keep that in mind. Uh, another hot and cold shower on this side of the camper, right next to the grill. So again, you can spray off your utensils, you know, maybe you drop a hot dog on the ground and nobody's looking, spray that off, pop it back on. That's what I do. Huge awning on this unit, LED strips under that, speakers under that, covers pretty much the whole length of the camper what i like is that it kind of stops here so with all the heat and stuff kind of coming up it's not under the awning so that is going to be really nice you're not going to be out cooking in the rain anyway and if you are you're a die hard and you're going to do it anyway you're probably one of those winter fire the grill up and have your eskimo suit on while you go outside anyway so other side of the pass through storage if that fridge isn't big enough, maybe you could throw a little bit of ice down here and stick some beverages in it. You do got this section if you wanted to eliminate some water. Um, otherwise, people like to do is put maybe a swing arm TV out here, plug it in, and have all that stuff going on. Or if you do have anything out here, you can feed the wires through there, plug them all in, and close this door so the wires aren't there. You got plugins on the outside as well. So a lot of different options going around in the front of this unit. And then again, the in-command system. So with Keystone, it's kind of a, more of an override box as well. So if anything were to happen with the touchscreen pad inside, you got your override box out here that you can still run your slides, your awnings, everything out of here. And then if that does malfunction, you got manual. So three different ways to attack it if something were to happen. So really kind of rest assured that You'll never be stranded with anything hanging out. So that's kind of the outside. We'll kind of point out when you get here, these things are heavy, insulated, slam latch, solid, secure doors. So when you're putting all your gear in here and you have it all locked up, you can really have that sense of security with how solid these doors are too. Friction hinge door. So again, no longer a clip in the door that you're gonna be breaking off or having to replace all the time. You just kind of set this where you want it. You can open it all the way up. They are rated for like a 20 mile an hour wind. So I mean, if you give it a good slam, it stops. It's not gonna slam in the way. So they're gonna like that. So you leave that open. These new rails have been coming out. Everybody's kind of adapting to these. I think I've seen them first on Keystone, which is cool. Um, I like how they come all the way to the ground. So you know, you get some folks that might take a step or two up to get the other grab handles that were up here, having them come all the way to the ground will make those folks that need the assistance have that little extra sense of security while they're going up and down the stairs the whole way. I really like that. Also, with these solid step stairs, this top step, you know, they all have grip tape on them, so a little extra security, but this top step has a little extra section to make this a little wider, so your first step coming down, your last step going in, really nice there. Oh, another thing before we head into uh, 
Keystone has upgraded to a 220 watt solar panel from their 200. So giving it a solar panel, giving it a little bigger solar panel, that's just extra power shooting to the battery for you. So nice upgrade there on Keystone. Swinging inside, like I said, as you walk in, the counter space in this travel, in this fifth wheel is amazing. It is giant. There's plugs everywhere, all over it. You got this cool table that we have out right now. Um, as you walk in, you got this huge storage area that is under it. That's housing the two chairs that can go around this right now. Um, so if you want to use this more of a prep space or things like that, and you're never really going to use those chairs, you can take those out and look at all that extra storage that you have right as you walk in. On top of this table, power, USB, USB-C, and then this big L-shaped counter. I mean, this is so much counter space. You got these power towers, so just going to be able to drop these down, get them out of your way. Otherwise, you pull them up. Two powers, USB, USB-C, solid surface countertops. I mean, all the storage in this unit, there's just so much. Hidden hinges on the doors, soft closing doors, really residential. You can just feel the quality in it. I mean, it is, it's crazy. Look, look at this space. Under the sink, enormous space, garbage storage, all that under there. Forget about garbage under there. Garbage and recycling in its own storage right here. I mean, come on. Whoop. You got your little paper towel roll. I mean, everything that you're buying extra, this is in this unit already. We're gonna kind of fold this up here move this table up, fold it in. So it's a little tricky, took me a little minute, but there are little red push buttons on the corners here. They're tucked back in there, so they're not the most convenient to get at, but they're there. It's easy, you just kind of push them in. Once you feel them move, you're set. Slide this guy in. You'll hide that power, that USB that's for that table, and you'll expose this amazing fireplace. You want to kick your slippers up under here, you could do that. Fire's pumping out. Hopefully those guys get a little toasty before you stick your toes in them. Um, I mean, 5,000 BTU worth of heat coming out of there when you're plugged in at the campsite. So if you're already paying for power or you don't want to use all your propane to heat it up, I mean, that'll kick enough heat to heat this little space up here for you, which is going to be awesome. And again, just, I mean, all this overhead cabinet storage is just amazing. Good size microwave, residential field there. Three burner Furion cooktop with a nice little oven for you. Big enough to do Stover's lasagna, pizzas, dinosaur chicken nuggets, whatever your fancy is. And a nice pots and pans droid right under that. 16 cubic foot fridge and freezer. It's on lockdown mode right now. It's See if we can't get this open real fast for you. Whoop. So, really nice fridge and freezer in here. Great space. Really fill that all up. So, like I said, you can just turn that outdoor fridge into strictly a beverage refrigerator if you wanted to. Lights all up above the theater seats which is right across from the I'd say that's almost a 50 inch TV that they're included in here theater seats cup holders windows back behind it USB USB C back here um, these lights above you and the refrigerator so the three in this section are on a dimmer switch where they have their own switch right here that's going to be great Huge pantry for this kitchen because I mean you have all this counter space to do prep work, make food, do your thing. So you're going to need a pantry to combat the size of the materials and stuff that you're making, all the goods. With all that stuff you got going on, all that prepping, cooking, whatever you have, this would be my coffee bar here. Set up your coffee pot, you got your power, nice lights all above it, push puck light here. A nice catch-all shelf, extra storage up above that, 
and below your fuse box and breaker box is uh, located in this section as well but yeah just a nice little section over here maybe if you guys are photographers you're out taking photos videos of your favorite campsites your favorite state parks all that stuff you need to stop in charge all your batteries this could be a nice spot to set the camera set your battery chargers right as you walk in good spot for that as well also in this main space i mean you got essentially three different ways four different ways if you wanted to open the window to kind of get air cool it down you got your uh, Coleman Mach AC with the Blade Air 360 um, that is going through the whole camper here. You also got your Max Air Fan with a rain sensor. So if it is a cooler day like today and you just want to bring some fresh air in, maybe crack a window, turn that guy on. And then you also have a ceiling fan. So maybe you're bringing that in and want to push the air around. I mean, like I said, multiple different ways to bring a lot of really nice um, fresh air into here. Or if it's hot, you got the AC to pump all the cool air going through it as well. Heading up the stairs, right as you come up there, you do have a spot to kind of kick your shoes under the stairs. Like I said, maybe store your slippers here or store them under there. Kick a couple extra shoes under here. That's a nice spot for that. Great grab handle heading up the stairs for that extra security to give you that. This is going to be your in-command system, so running... Um, your lights, your awnings, all that stuff, main stuff from right here, checking your tanks. You're gonna have a uh, little ambiance lights right up the top. They're gonna turn here, so maybe some nice night lights there for you. And then your fan for the main section. That's all gonna be right here for you. Right up the stairs is the bathroom. So in the bathroom here, porcelain toilet really deep cabinetry for towels and all that stuff kind of going in here they give you a spot to hang towels this shower is on the lockdown so we'll just open it up Whoop. maybe not that way there's probably a way you can do it but we're going to go in at the back way so in the shower you got a lot of headroom you got the nice light Thing that they've been adding, I've been noticing in the newer rigs, is there's going to be a light in the shower then as well. So if you're taking a shower at night, you do have a nice light in the shower for you. This one has a nice seat. So if you need to sit down while you're taking a shower, shaving your legs, just taking the load off in the shower, you need to sit down. You got that section there for you too. Um, and it's not too bad of a step to get in and out of the shower, which is nice. Your hot water heater is all going to be up in here. Power, the lights, nice sink. They can fit both your hands, get those washed. And then a nice medicine cabinet back here. Kind of store some of your stuff. In this bathroom, you do have a little vent with a fan. So you can open that up, eliminate some of the moisture and things like that in here. And then good storage up under the sinks. Nice spot for a small little garbage can and all your little toiletries and everything you're going to need while you go camping. Good drawers for that. We'll take this off. This bathroom is on a pocket door. So you don't got to be worried about swinging it open either way, blocking people off. Or let's say maybe if I'm coming down the stairs, you know, this door has to open or open a different way. You're kind of cruising down. I really like these pocket doors. I think those are really used well in a lot of campers. Heading into the main bedroom. So right as you walk in, you got your lights right here. Turn on all the ceiling lights. The two above the bed are going to be push puck. Uh, these ones are not so, but just above the bed, those are push puck. King size bed. Windows on both sides that are going to open so you can get some good cross ventilation over there. Uh, maybe you have a CPAP machine. I don't know the sizes on some of those, but maybe they could fit right up here on this shelving. Um, you know, one on either side, you got power right here on this guy with USB. So again, you can stretch any devices up here. And then on that one, there's just power tucked on the back corner. So there is a power supply on the back of that one. If you wanted to hook up a TV, good spot for a TV right here with the appropriate hookups in the ceiling. Nice dresser with pull out drawers. It's a lot of really good storage up here for socks, hoodies, things like that window this is emergency window as well but good cross ventilation 
blackout shades in here, slow risers. You got um, internet prep, so you got the wine guard prep in here. So if you're traveling, working from home or working from the camper, if you need internet, you are prepped and ready, so you can hook that up in there. Another thing, if you are working from home or using this as a travel, you know, there's a lot of travel nurses out there and a lot of people that now can just work anywhere. They have internet, which has been really cool. This is prepped for a washer dryer. So if that's something that you want, prepped and ready to go in here. If not, huge storage closet. A really nice uh, wardrobe closet as well. So. I kind of like these individualized hanging sections. Looks like each of them, you know, you can put two hangers on each of these. So you could really do a lot of clothes hanging up here. You know, set some foldables. I'm a shoe guy, so a lot of shoes might sit there. You can tuck a lot of stuff under there. Pulling these doors to the other side. These mirrors on here. So if you get dressed for the day, you can give yourself a checkout, make sure that you look good, everything matches. I tried to leave the house the other day and got told that I didn't match and had to go change. And my wife didn't want to be seen with me in public like that. Some things happen. We'll unhook this side and slide these all over. On this side, I mean, maybe a small hamper or something in there. You can throw all your devices. Again, if you're working from home and you need to plug stuff in, power, USB, all in the closet. Tuck it away, tuck your cords, clean it up, put it in there, let it charge up overnight. Really nice spot for that. And with these, these are all on their own little slider. So, I mean, you can really customize how you're opening and closing these doors, which is pretty unique as well. It's kind of a cool little feature. With the king size bed, you got the king size storage. So all that storage up under here. So maybe you take those chairs out from under there. If you don't use them often, you can always throw them under here, store them under here a lot more. And then you could use that section where maybe you're gonna get at it a lot more often. Use that for stuff that's gonna be more important to you. Second AC here in the bedroom. So. Again, if you're really hot sleepers, hot climates, you want your AC nice and cold, you got a second AC up in here. So you don't have one, there's not just one AC trying to do the work for the whole camper. You got a second one up here. So um, I think that's all we have on this unit here. Again, my name is Kyle Dimon up here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. It is fifth wheel season. The colors are changing. The kids are back in school. The bugs are back in their hole. They're not out bugging you guys best time to go camping especially in a fifth wheel or if you're getting ready to head south fifth wheels are where it's at give me a call i'd love to help you out uh, my number is 218-740-4964 text me call me my email will be attached to this so any way you prefer to communicate you can give me a, a, a shout uh, we're here to help any way we can again Hit that like button, really helps us out. Subscribe to our channel. These videos will come to you as fast as they can so you don't miss out on maybe the perfect camper for you. So again, my name is Kyle. Contact me anytime, I'm here to help. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.